Hello and welcome back to Okami, but in HD. Anyway, there's all the mechanical contraption y bits and stuff, also this. I wonder what do we do with this? I skipped over that. Too bad it's wasted on the no good monsters here. In case you forgot what you were opening doors with, look at that. Never a nine pronged sword. We have the seven pronged sword, by the way, that he's talking about. I've seen that sword before. Where have you seen that, I wonder? But anyway, hard puzzle, very difficult. Why it explodes like that? Does it leave rubble anywhere? I don't know, but hey, magic. We are on a demonic teleporting island, so, you know, take what you can. Maybe demonic teleporting islands have demonic exploding statues. Who knows? Not me, I can tell you that much. Anyway, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Now we've seen... Now we've seen these eyeballs before. There are many of them, in fact. If you slash them, they close. We've seen this before, it's not a very complicated thing. I meant to slash slightly better than that, but hey. Slash all of them closed at the same time. They will stop the alarm, despite immediately reopening their eyes and looking at you the entire time. They don't reset the alarm. Why? I don't know, man. I got a weird alarm system in this place, I'll tell you that much. I don't know why I decided to break those. We don't need the yen at this point. Another thing that's not spinning. I wonder how you make it spin. Good question. We've done it. This area actually looks pretty neat because of all of the uh, gears and stuff in the background and the, the 2D style going off. What's up here? Oops. Can I not? Now obviously that's not going to go down that way because there's nothing for it to draw on. It's probably just a hole to fall on. I was hoping I could jump, uh, wall jump up it. The answer is unfortunately no. You appear to have spikes all over that. Oh, ow. I was trying to get around, not get hit by it. It's quite obvious we will need the cat tower to make our way up there. What's this? Suspicious. It's nothing special. Okay. Excuse me? I wasn't getting hit by the uh, spike things. When I was on the wall like that. Okay, there we go. We're up here now. Now just to make our way up here. This reminds me of that one uh, Mario 64 level. There's like a big tall tower with like cagey bits that you uh, climb on and stuff. Well, there's the key. How do I get the key though? You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I actually don't remember how to get in this room to get the key. I guess you can drop down into it, but... It's not gonna be over here, I'm just breaking these down for reasons, because I'm here, basically. But we can't go this way because we need the key, correct? Yes. Oh, you know what? Can we just slash that open? I'm a bit special, I'm sorry. I hit jump. It wasn't just me falling for stupidity as much as I do that fairly frequently. I did actually hit jump. I want a refund on that. Alright, well that time was me hitting the spike. That time I fell because of stupidity. Now you can yell at me in the comments. Don't actually yell at me in the comments. It makes me sad. Why is it always oriented like this? There we go. Let's go ahead and draw this up. Excuse me. There we go. Didn't attach the first time for some reason.
All right, make our way back up here. This is just uh, platforming training for later sections of the game. Excuse me. Once again, this is just platforming training for later sections of the game. They spin at different speeds, I'm pretty sure, and it bothers me. Because they're gears right next to each other. You think they wouldn't spin like that, but hey. There we go. Now, I can't get... Yeah, I can't get whatever's up there. I don't think. Hey. Don't hit me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Now we can get in here. And continue our journey up the tower. The interior of this very strangely designed tower. Like, supposedly demons live here. Like, is there a separate section of the building for, like, demonic housing? Or do they just have to climb up here every time, now, every time they want to get in? Oh, come on. See what I mean, man? It's basically just Mario 64. God damn it. Mario 64. Uh, now we gotta wait. We have to utilize uh, slow time for this, if I recall correctly. Because they start spinning really, really fast. Excuse me. There we go. They're not affected by slow time. I'm mistaken. There we go. I thought they were, but apparently not. Those are one of the very few things in this world affected or not affected by slowed down time. The gears in this building. Alright, whatever. Anyway, we could save there if we, if we wanted to, but I don't want to. We need this key, though. We don't need this, but I want this, because it's here. Free loot. It's not actually very useful loot, but there you go, now we can see the map. By the way, have I used this before? I don't know. But there you go, there's a uh, overlay map that you can use. This isn't where the key goes. I was not expecting to have to fight things right now. Come back here, dude. Not you. Didn't even get the uh, thing out of it. Are you slash it? You don't slash it. Nothing slashes anymore. It could have been lightning. I do have the key. So we can't hit things with lightning. Is there anything in this room that I can necessarily do right now? By the way, spiders. I don't think there is. Alright, well, let's go around then to where that key icon on the map is. Obvious location to go for the key. Uh, we don't need that because this key will protect us on the way over. Never mind, we'll just fall into the pit of poisonous water and despair. Because that jump was much longer than I thought it was. Alright, wait, you're a different key. Where the hell am I going with this thing? I forgot. I remember being in Oni, Oni Island for a really long time, so... Like, I know there's platforms up here. Can I get up there? They come from another area. They go up there, which is where the spider is. Where do I take this key? Where do I go? Oh, the stairs right there, you doofus. Alright, I apologize, my loyal viewers. Oh, man, it's been a while, okay? It's been like 30 seconds since I saw those stairs. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Hello? You don't have to use the camera? I know I couldn't remember to go up the stairs I picked up right next to the key, but 
You don't have to continue panning the camera around for me. My back actually hurts quite a lot right now. Let me get into a slightly better position in my chair, perhaps. Hopefully that will help me. I don't know. My back hurts though. I'm an old man. So we can go that way. It gives us a item of some description. What is it? Vengeance slip. Something I don't actually care about in the slightest. Alright, so that is obviously spinning far too fast. For not spinning. Flopping back and forth excitedly far too fast. So in order to get down here, I'm pretty sure we have to drop the key. Is there anywhere else we can go up here? I do not believe so. So drop the key, plops us down here, gives us the actual key that we need. That's good to know. And off we go. God, that didn't blow me up. Where does this put us? Oh, puts us right here. Hey! How convenient. Probably can only blow that wall up from one side. That would be quite the uh, skip if you could bypass that entire... Hey, it's you still. The time for fun and games is over. For it is my sworn duty to stand guard here. Okay. Have I failed as a gatekeeper for feeling so? You wish to live a life of competition? Okay. Uh, we don't have the key with which to make that easier. Can we get the key? Because there's a thing right there. Let's go see if we can pick the key back up. Alright, this is permanently closed, isn't it? Lame. Making me go the long way back around. Glad I didn't miss that. I was worried I was gonna miss it for a second there. Alright, we can get the key back. Neato. Alright. Ow. Thought I could get past that if you want to be honest there. Alright, so we have our key. This will make this marginally easier, but also I mostly want it for this chest over here, wherever it was. There it is. Is it going to give us something good? Give us some bullhorns. Well, that's more yen. It's basically free money, so I get what it is. But we, we must now race him. We need the slow-mo, because spider dude. Excuse me. I'd like to run. I can't run for some reason. There we go. That was an easy race, my dude. If you don't have the key, it's probably a much more difficult race, but you know. Why would you not go get the key? There was loot there. Hey. Oh, it's you guys. Well, we have a charge weapon now, which is useful against enemies like this. Because you can only hit them every once in a while. As demonstrated thusly. You missed, my dude. Oh. It seems the... how did I miss? The red one mostly charges, the blue one mostly does other things. These guys have too much health. Oh no, they can both do the breath thing. Okay. Just been getting lucky with the other dude doing it. Or, I don't know if it counts as lucky, but the other dude has mostly been the one doing it. Hey. Should have peed up. Like that one. Let's just hit him a few times, see if we can get him to. Now that actually hit me. I was gonna see if we could get them to go into the uh, colorless mode, because that's usually based on number of hits rather than damage. 
Which makes Rosary good for getting people into the black and white phase where you can deal some specialized damage on them. How much, um, thingamading do we have? 105, that's not very much. I was trying to back out of it and it kept spinning. Ow, that's rather rude of you. Well, that's clearly the way to go. What's over here? Wait, pots. Okay. There's a cat statue. I've already deciphered how to do this game, but thank you for the camera angle, I guess. Up we go. Thank you for not counting that as a hit. No. There we go. What is it going to give us? Money. I screwed that up. Can I get back up? Yeah, we can just do this. Cat statues, hooray! It's probably gonna disappear. Be you know, it reset. Okay, I was gonna say it's gonna disappear before I get over there. No, you filthy spider thing! I bet we have to cat statue our way over there. I don't really want to, but it is right there. Uh, you immediately drop down. Oops. Excuse me. Whatever's in that thing, hey, ain't worth the hassle, we're just gonna move on. It was just some yen anyway, so. Hey. I wonder if you're weak to lightning. No, you don't seem to be really at all bothered by that. Alright, I can't do that when he's blocking. She's apparently going to keep doing. There we go. We can actually kill this guy instantly without him doing the blocky thing. Alright, that's not what they need. I keep forgetting what certain enemies need for the finisher hit. Glad it's stormy inside of this room. So why am I still carrying this key? Is there actually another purpose for this key? Or is this key my friend now? Oh hey, it's this guy. What's up, dude? I guard this place. What are you talking about? Where was I? The white demon of death. Hi, that's me. You cannot slay me. Easily done. I, Blockhead, submit to defeat. That's quite the uh, honorable succumbing, I guess? Hello. The climax. I'm glad that was in red. Everyone likes a good climax, you know? I shall send you off with a final dash. Okay. Bunch of pots up there. Can I actually draw it all the way out? I don't know if my brush reaches that far. Oh, it tried to. Why is it not? There we go. I should blow it up. Sort of cheaty, I guess, but hey, there you go. Oh, well, this should make this pretty easy, actually. Makes that substantially easier. I won. <laughs> Truly amazing. Uh, 
Witness your final moment. I shall now accept my feet. This was the life of my own choosing. I treasured it. This is the emotional scene for a piece of demonic paper. Farewell, Toby. Okay. Right. Onward. You get so much yen from Oni Island, it's ridiculous. Oh, cut scene? Question mark? No, it's just loading the area. That's fine. Now here is a good point to save. It was talking about the climax for a reason. It's probably recommended. Excuse me. Excuse me. Apparently can't cut that angle. It's rude. It's talking about the climax for a reason. There's a checkpoint here anyway, but hey, hard saves. Everyone likes a good hard save every once in a while. A hard save right before the climax. But anyway, here we are. You ready, Amy? Yes. Excellent. This is a, if I recall correctly, very hard boss fight compared to every other boss fight in the game, to be honest. This is also quite the lovely scenery for it. You think she'd have a throne or something, but nope. Yeah, you're not doing anything, Isen, don't worry about it. The call has been sounded. Hey, that looks suspicious, doesn't it? This constellation, you might notice, is her. It's Ninetale. We don't actually draw all nine tails, so it doesn't really make much sense, but hey, there she is. Or is it a he? I always assume nine tails is female. I mean, it was a female in the human form, so. So, Amaterasu. You might notice, our friend Ninetales here has a special weapon. It is the nine-pronged version of that sword. The absolute ruler of all evil beings. Become death destroyer worlds. This way, I don't record right when you wake up. Yeah. 
Roar. Wish I could roar like that. Alright. The fight begins. I remember absolutely nothing about this fight, so we'll see how this goes. Stop jumping around so much, please. You jump around a lot, and I'd like you to cease. What are you doing? Ah. You're doing that, I see. Whoa. That's a really weird angle for that to be at. But anyway, you probably know what to do with this. And then all of her tails become little peoples. For reasons that I'm not actually sure about. You can get a lot of demon fangs from this fight, by the way. I'm pretty sure you can get one from each of them. Alright, so that's all we can get out of that before they wandered off to her. Hey, you appear to be missing a tail there. How's it feel? I don't know if you can actually hurt her during this part. It's just a survival thing until she raises the sword. The nine pronged sword, what? Oh, right. Nice attack, my friend. There's the sword. Freaking blocking the cloud. There we go. And we fight. Who will fight me this day? Ow. Ow. That was rather rude of you. Seriously, that was rather rude of you? Probably not the optimal sword for this fight, but hey. She's le Ow. She's leaving me. Before I could kill anyone. Probably use that down strike more often because it's a really fast attack and it does a lot of damage. Ow. I was not prepared for that in the slightest. Hey, you wanna raise your sword up? Or are you gonna do this? This is where you vomit everywhere while you stand on your legs for some strange reason. You think maybe you should stop raising the sword up in there? That attack was so delayed. Alright, well, we blocked something. It wasn't a very good block, but uh, we blocked something. This attack, this uh, sword's a bit slow. Also, somehow I'm walking into their swords and taking damage. I don't really know how that's working, but sure, whatever. Where's my Healy stuff? I think it's the first Healy item we've used in this game. Let us change my weapon to something that attacks a wee bit faster so we can actually get some hits in. No. I thought she was doing the other attack. Okay. Raise your, raise your sword up. Or you do this too, I guess. Nice attack, question mark. But she ran up to me and then rolled and then raised the sword. So now we should be able to at least get some hits in between being pummeled by things. Yeah. Excuse me. I was quite clearly blocking that attack, but sure, whatever. Floats your boat. See, look at this damage we're getting in now. Actually doing good work here. She's only got two tails left, so... Not much of a nine tail anymore, are you? I blocked that, but okay. Guess I'll take damage anyway. Really? You're gonna do that attack? It's a bit rude. Oh, you're raising me, so... Okay. Alright. Two left. One of them's on the ground, one of them's flying, I think, so... But because there's only one on the ground, we can just mash the attack button. So that is. There we go. 
Hey. You're but a normal creature now. Missing an eye, then. Now the true fight begins. A perfect block for that. That's pretty good. You thought it was over, didn't you? I did not per- oh, I did perfect block that, but I think I still took damage. There's a demon fang around here somewhere. May have already picked it up, I don't know. We don't get the, uh, stun from the lightning anymore. Just keeps her from doing the attack. Nice little prance. You're too fast. Cease. You like these perfect blocks we're getting, though? I did the second part of that fight, I think, flawlessly. First part? Oh, good god, that was all. I needed a faster weapon, for sure. But we get a new weapon for that, as is tradition with boss fights. Excuse me, worked there if you could hear it. My bad. The Blade of Kusanagi. It's just the next tier of glaive, which means it does more damage. Doesn't have ink bullet though. Not that ink bullet's too important, but hey. I wish we had gotten to see it scatter into offerings, but... Did I say scatter into offerings and not scatter into flowers? I don't know what I said, but I meant to say scatter into flowers. to the extreme north. Snowy land with snowy mountains. Oh wait, it's Issa. The journey would end when all 13 powers were restored. With only one power remaining, a tiny frown creased his face. I wish he would leave, but no, he doesn't. Defeating Ninetales didn't bring Himiko back. You are correct. Did you expect it to? Yep, victory howl. You always gotta have a good victory howl after a boss fight, you know? That's how you know you won. <laughs> At the time. We did okay on damage, apparently. You can make 89,000 yen from that one fight. Would you like to save the game? Of course I would. Because we're going to stop here, so thanks for watching. Next time, we're gonna make our way to the north.